is anybody surprised at this point? Now, I, this is like the third time I'm I'm talking about this topic and all, and all that, but I did mention a video about earlier days ago. The Bruins signed Mitchell Miller uh, to an entry level contract. The guy, the guy who bullied and who not only abused and tortured a black disabled kid for many years, but but also, but but also hit his uh, never hold himself accountability, made lies, and used his hockey career to cover up his crimes and all of that. Like I've explained so much in the past two videos, but then, uh, but like e ever since that signing was made, the Bru the everyone was going after the Bruins, even the players and coaches themselves, saying that, saying that they're not okay with Mitchell Miller coming to the NHL, and, and everything. And you know that move was so bad that even Gary Bedman of the NHL had to step in and say that Mitchell Miller is not eligible to go to the NHL and to, I mean like if you have the NHL tell you that you're not gonna play then, then you can kiss your hockey career goodbye now I now my second video on Mitchell Miller I uh, at the end I pretty much said the, that that if the Bruins let Miller go I wouldn't be surprised. Well, take a gander of what happened on Sunday. Yep, on Sunday, uh, the, the Bruins have uh, the, the Bruins have terminated Mitchell Miller's contract. So, so just like the Coyotes, the teams, the team, uh, it's, it's pretty much the same scenario with the Coyotes. I mean, it's like the Coyotes. Uh, didn't uh, 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 the, the Coyotes dra drafted Miller, got hated for it, tried to backtrack, saying that they didn't know about it, they didn't get rid of him. Now the Bruins did the same thing. Like, I mean, it's, it's like they signed Miller, got hated on it, tried purposely backtrack, saying they didn't know about it when we obviously know they did, and then they let him go. Like. Slug, I had a feeling that he was going to be gone sooner rather than later. So, of course, when this happened, Cam Neely, the president of Boston Bruins, made a press conference about that. In, 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 this state, in the statement from the Boston Bruins, it said, today, it, it, they said that the, the decision to sign this young man was made after a careful consideration of the facts as we were aware of them that a 14 year old he made a poor more poor decision that led to a juvenile conviction we understood this to be an isolated incident and that he had taken meaningful action to reform and he was committed to ongoing personal development based on that understanding we offered him a contract Based on new information, we believe it is the best decision at this time to rescind the opportunity for Metro Miller to represent the Boston Bruins. We hope that he continues to work with professionals and programs to further his education and personal growth. We owe it to our fans, players, staffs, partners, and community to make sure that our practices and protocols are in keeping with the ethos that we demand from ourselves and as an organization. As such, we will be reevaluating our internal processes for vetting individual individuals who wish to earn the privilege of playing in the National Hockey League for the Bruins. We are sorry that this decision has overshadowed the incredible work the members of our organization do to support diversity and inclusion efforts. We will continue to stand against bullying and racism in all of its forms. To Isaiah and his family, my deepest apologies if this signing made you and other victims feel unseen and unheard. We apologize for the deep hurt and impact we have caused. Finally, as a father, I think there is a lesson to be learned here for other young people. Be mindful of careless behaviors and going with the group mentality of hurting others. The repercussions can be felt for a lifetime. 
So base so so basically Cam ne so basically Cam nearly basically backtracks and they didn't know about it, which we obviously know was bullshit because so, uh, and and then in that and then in that conference he was also he was also putting Don Sweeney under the bus and blaming him for, for the signing. But 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 we knew. But 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 we knew that both were responsible. It's like like if one if one made a bad move in the organization, the whole the whole team's responsible. So so so, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is another. This is another example of how to destroy your career and everything. This is uh, like the biggest loser is obviously Mitchell Miller. Is, I mean, it's like, it's like I mentioned it over and over and over again. Mitchell Mil Mitchell Miller hasn't changed, and he never held himself accountable. It's like, it's like, and. Uh, and the fact that the Bruins signed him in the first place is just horrible. I mean, I mean, yeah, they got rid of him, but 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 it was, but it, but it's obviously too late for formalities and forgiveness for the Bruins and all that. I mean, I mean, and and the wor and now the worst part about all this is that even after that. Mitchell Miller is still is st still gonna learn nothing. He he's going to he's still gonna claim himself to be the victim. He's gonna ke keep blaming everybody from for himself and would want to do and would want to change for the better when his neck if if his next opportunity comes along like it's like uh, like the th like that's the worst part of, uh, like that is the thing. Mitchell Mitchell Miller had it had it all, dominating a uh, great defense, uh, very offensive offensive, and make a lot of points and all of that, but he ruined it all due to ra due to race due to racism, manipulation, lying, victim blaming, and using hockey and using the sport of hockey to cover up his crimes, and and everything. I mean, at least with guys like Tony D'Angelo and Logan Mayu, they're at least trying to sh they're at least trying to shed their demons and actually try to change for the better. But Mitchell Miller, it was none of that. He kept he kept doing he kept doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. I mean. I mean, yeah, the Bruins let him go, but do you want to want to know why they let him go now? Because they've been spammed with hate from everybody. I mean, like just like the Coyotes, they acted like he could change for the better, but Miller has done nothing to change for the better. He did nothing to fight for the NHL. And at this point, the fur the furthest he's ever gonna go is the KHL. That's the only thing he's gonna go to. So he's gonna have to learn to speak Russian or whatever language he go he needs to speak when going to a KHL team, because his NHL career is done. And 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 it's too late for him. Like, if if only he hold himself accountable, like during court or before. Everything could have been uh, things could have been better for him. He could have played in the NHL and all that, but he didn't. And this is what happens when people don't change for the better, and and when people don't hold themselves accountable, they get severely punished for it. And the more they keep it going, the worse the punishment goes. I mean, it's like Mitchell Miller has proven haters right, and it's going to cost them everything. Now I've recently saw a video by Rob Talks Hockey, like a, a good a good hockey creator that talks videos about hockey and all that stuff. When he mentioned when he made the video of Mitchell Miller, he basically mentioned that 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 having Miller in the NHL was a bad idea because having Mitchell Miller would destroy the NHL by having them get rid of sponsors and the, and they ruin their agenda
thus thus losing money and everything, which which would ruin the sport himself. So pretty much he said that Mitchell put in like put in someone like Mitchell Miller in the NHL equals death of the NHL. And he, and he is right about that. I mean, just like, I mean, just like, like, making moves like this hurts an organization and all of that. By having someone who committed crimes, committed racism, and everything, it just hurts people. It just hurts people and everything. I mean, like, the Bruins got away, uh, the Bruins got out of it, but at what cost? It's already too late. Like, like, it's still gonna be part of their history. People are still gonna remember that. And the only thing the Bruins can go, uh, can, can do is move on from this and make sure not to do it, not to make the same mistake ever again. But, but but Metro Miller is done. It's like he does not deserve he does not deserve to be in the NHL or uh, do anything big in hockey for this. Like after everything he did, he lost he lost the rights to play in the NHL and everything. So, I mean, like the KHL, KHL is the only thing he can uh, uh, only thing he could do. But but if but if you but but if he expects to do anything better after that. He's grossly mistaken. Like he's he's not gonna change. He's still gonna blame everyone but himself. Like knowing him, he's gonna look at videos such as this and basically accuse people who made these videos clout chasers and only wants to do is for views. Even though in my case, I never. Uh, even though we we don't do it for views, we're doing it because it's a serious topic that needed to be addressed. And because we we stand against racism and everything, so, I mean, I mean, of, I mean, of, I mean, I mean. Now the question remain. Now there's a big question, like, like I've actually made a poll about this on my on my channel on the community tab. Something that I got very early due to the new YouTube rule changes, but I basically asked a simple question. Does Mitchell Miller deserve another chance or does he not? In my in my opinion it is no. It's like like he he ruined his chances again and again and it is too late for him. Of of, of course if you of course if you have your own opinion about it, feel free uh, to vote in the polls in my community tab and all that now Mitchell now Mitchell Miller can you please stop stop trying to do things please stop trying to to ruin your career and all that like I got I, I want to do other videos you know like Mitchell Miller I, I literally hope you do sit there and slowly watch as your hopes and dreams are crushed by your own incompetence and all that like this could have been avoided, but you blew it. Now there's one th there's one final thing I want you to do, Mitchell Miller. When you besides retiring from hockey, I want you to get home, or get in the corner and think about what, and think about what you've done to have this happen.